If you can keep your head when all about you are losing theirs and blaming it on you, if you can trust yourself when all men doubt you, but make allowance for their doubting too, if you can wait and not be tired by waiting, or being lied about, don't deal in lies, or being hated, don't give way to hating, and yet don't look too good, nor talk too wise. If you can dream and not make dreams your master, if you can think and not make thoughts your aim, if you can meet with triumph and disaster and treat those two impostors just the same, if you can bear to hear the truth you've spoken, twisted by knaves to make a trap for fools, or watch the things you gave your life to, broken, and stoop and build them up with worn-out tools. If you can make one heap of all your winnings, and risk it on one turn of pitch and toss, and lose and start again at your beginnings, and never breathe a word about your loss. If you can force your heart and nerve and sinew to serve your turn long after they are gone, and so hold on when there is nothing in you except the will which says to them, hold on. If you can talk with crowds and keep your virtue, or walk with kings, nor lose the common touch. If neither foes nor loving friends can hurt you, if all men count with you, but are none too much. If you can fill the unforgiving minute with sixty seconds worth of distance run, yours is the earth and everything that's in it. And, which is more, you'll be a man, my son. Pay attention, because this is important. It doesn't matter what you or anyone else thinks of Joe Biden. It doesn't matter that he can't stand up or walk three feet without falling down or shitting his pants. It doesn't matter that he can't string words together without bumbling and stumbling like the stuttering prick he is. It doesn't matter that he's a corrupt piece of shit who's been selling us out for the last 50 fucking years. None of it fucking matters because he's not running the show and never has been. If he dropped dead right now, not a thing would change. Not a single fucking thing. It doesn't matter what dummies on deck, because they're all the fucking same. Globalists, communists, give it a name. They all want the border open to flood this country with illegals. They all want to tax you to death and to spend your money on their bullshit. They all want to control you, what you can do, what you can say, even what you can think. They all want to destroy the American way of life with wokeness and degeneracy. There's only one way to stop them. So you better make sure you and everyone you know is voting for President Trump like your lives and your kids' lives depend on it. Because the bottom line is, they fucking do. Well, this is a bombshell. Listen closely. We're getting new reporting about what's going on at the Biden campaign as we speak. Doug Cass, a hedge fund owner, a big DNC insider just posted this, quote, what I am hearing regarding Joe Biden, Ron Klain, that's the former chief of staff, and Barack Obama are having a sit down with the president today. Joe Biden is insistent that Joe's running. Kamala is furious that she is not being considered as a replacement. Whitmer and Newsom are. Interestingly, my neighbor in East Hampton is hosting the Bidens tomorrow. It will be an important tell if the fundraiser is canceled. Whoa. Well, how are you? Making sure that we're able to make every single solitary person uh, eligible for what I've been able to do with the uh, with, with the COVID. Excuse me, with um, dealing with everything we have to do with. Uh, look, if we finally beat Medicare, we find we find providing housing for Black Americans. The impact of on the the choice, the idea that they're going to, I'm not, I've been proposing that everybody, they pay, the millionaires pay 1%, 1%. So no one after, uh, I've not raised the cost of social security for anybody. I got my handicap, which when I was vice president, down to a six. And, 
and wants to get away with get rid of the ability of Medicare to uh, for the ability to for the us to be able to negotiate drug prices with the big pharma companies. The, I, what I'm going to do is fix the tax system. For example, we have a thousand trillionaires in America. I mean, billionaires in America. No one was hurt. No one Israeli was accidentally killed, and it just stopped. And I'm going to continue to move until we get the total ban on the the, 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 the total initiative relative to what we're going to do with more border patrol and more uh, asylum officers. This off. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. That doesn't resonate. We'll see you again tomorrow. Just. I think I'm going to have to hand this off. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry.